Hey everyone, so about um, a month ago, um, as of uh, Saturday, it'll be a month ago, uh, a new bank account bonus from Capital One 360 checking came out. And Dr. Credit was the first one to report about this. Now, even though this came out a month ago, the reason I didn't uh, make a video like that right away is because I opened this account and I want to get the bonus posted to my account before I made the video so that way I could tell all of you how I did it. So, I opened the account around August 4th, I think. I forget what exact day it was. It was around then. And uh, I first um, put 20 bucks in the account just to get something in there to get it open. The requirements for the bonus was that you had to have two direct deposits of $250 or more within 60 days of the account opening. So according to the doctor of credit form I read, there are multiple ways you can do this. It doesn't have to be a real direct deposit from your employer. So this include an ACH push from like your Charles Schwab brokerage account or you know a wide variety of uh, bank accounts and savings accounts. So I first um, did it with um, Discover Savings. So I pushed $251, then I pushed $255. However, I did those a week apart and after the bonus didn't post the end of the, uh, of the week, the uh, second one posted, I was like, uh-oh. So then I decided to do two pushes from Schwab. So I did them back-to-back -back days. And when the second one uh, posted, uh, the uh, bonus posted the same exact day. So it left me a question of which one triggered it, Discover Savings or Charles Schwab. My guess is going to be Discover Savings only because the bonus posted like three hours or four hours after the, the second Charles Schwab um, deposit posted from the brokerage account. So I'm not really sure which one triggered it, but at the end of the day, uh, the bonus was posted and that's all that matters. Yeah! So um, that's how I got the uh, $350 bonus. So I just pushed from uh, my Discover Savings account twice over the minimum. And I pushed my, um, not my, I pushed uh, money from the Charles Schwab brokerage account twice with more than the minimum. Um, however, with this account, I plan on keeping it long term because there's a lot of neat features with this. While this is an online account, you can deposit cash into this. This is what really stood out for me. So as I researched, um, you can uh, do a deposit at CVS, Walgreens, and Dwayne Reed. So you go into your app and you basically um, press that you want to deposit cash when you log into your checking. There is a uh, You put the amount in, you want to deposit, then a barcode comes up, the cashier scans it, and you can put in cash into your bank account. I think you get up to like $4,995, which for the average person, that should be more than enough to um, satisfy the requirement or you know be well below it. I mean, if you're depositing more than that, then you're probably running a business and uh, this may not be the best bank account for you if you're a business, you know, like a retail shop or something. But if you're just an individual, this should be no problem. So, the other thing about this bank account too is that it can work well with your Charles Schwab checking account. So with your Charles Schwab checking account, you get no fees all over the world. So you don't have to pay any fees either in, either in the United States or abroad. And there's no ATM fees all over the globe either, but you can't deposit cash into this account. You can deposit cash into the Capital One 360 checking account. So when you think about it, you can put the two together and you have a pretty sweet combination of bank accounts just because you know one can take cash while the other one can't but the other one has a few more perks that capital one's 360 doesn't so you um can just put the two together and they can actually work out pretty well but uh anyway i um was really making this video to talk about how i got the bonus for the uh, capital one 360 checking account uh, so far, I enj I've enjoyed it. I just uh, put uh, did a mobile deposit for a check, and you have till nine o'clock at night to uh, get the check into the account. And then some of the funds showed up, and then some of them are on hold till tomorrow. But whatever, it's no biggie for me. It's not like I'm desperate for it, but I just want to uh, do a test mobile deposit and see how it is. And uh, it's really, really good. So, 
So far, I've enjoyed the um, Capital One um, 360 checking account, and I just wanted to uh, wait a little bit to make the video with after my bonus posting, so that way I could uh, tell you how I got it, so you have more of an idea of um, what to expect when if you're going to open this account. Um, the Doctor Credit Oracle I read, I'm going to leave a uh, link to that right in the description below so you have access to it and you can check it out yourself and just read uh, stories from different people and how they got it so you have a better idea of um, what to expect as you uh, you know get started in the bank account or if you have questions about opening it, you can uh, read people's comments below. And uh, I found another article of um, different um, bank deposits that work for uh, the Capital One 360 account. So I'll leave a link to that also in the description below. So that way you can check that out and just read more about it. And um, of course, when you're trying to get this bonus, don't log into Capital One and pull money into Capital One from the Capital One site. You need to log on to the other bank sites you're going to use and push the money out and then to Capital One. So that way it triggers as a deposit from you know an outside institution. You're not doing it... Uh, from the Capital One side, because if you do it from the Capital One side, it will not trigger the bonus. So you do, definitely want to miss out on that from that mistake. So anyway, um, I just wanted to discuss those points, and um, hopefully you found this video useful. If you're thinking about uh, getting the Capital One 360 checking account, or if you already got it and you had questions about the bonus, hopefully this helped you a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, just leave it below. I'll answer those as best as I can. Anyway, I thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.